Welcome to our FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Leonalyn. At ang video ito ay upload din natin sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonalyn. Now, let's answer question from random post. At ito ay nakapost sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. At ito naman yung iba pa mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan. Now, let's read the problem. Alan think of a number. He squares it, then take away 5. Next, multiplies it by 4. Takes away 7. Divides it by 3. By, by 3. And finally adds 6. His answer is 9. What number did Alan start with? Now we can solve this in 3 ways. Doon muna tayo sa pinakamadali. His answer is 9. Balik ta rin natin. So, mag-start tayo sa 9. So, kung balik ta rin natin, ganito ang gagawin natin. Add 6. So, mag-minus tayo ng 6 instead na mag-add. So, 9 minus 6 and this is 3. Divides it by 3. Ang kabaliktaran yan, i-multiply natin ng 3. So, this is 9. Takes away 7. Ibig sabihin yan, minus 7. So, ang kabaliktaran yan ay plus 7. So, this is 16. Multiplies it by 4. So, times 4. Ang kabaliktaran yan ay i-divide natin ng 4. 16 divided by 4, and this is 4. Then, takes away 5. Minus 5 daw. Ang kabaliktaran sa minus 5 ay plus 5. So, 4 plus 5, this is 9. Then, finally, he squares it. So, ang kabaliktaran yan ay square root natin yan siya. Square root of 9 equals 3. So, ang sagot dito ay letter B, 3. Now, another way of solving this, doon tayo sa yung algebraic way. Alan thinks of a number. Let N para sa number na yan. He squares it. So, therefore, we have N squared. Then, takes away 5. So, minus 5. Next, multiplies it by 4. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay i-multiply natin by 4. Then, takes away 7, meaning minus 7. Divides it by 3. So, lahat ng yan ay i-divide daw ng 3. Finally, adds 6. So, plus 6. His answer is... 9. Now, unahin muna natin ito. Since plus 6 yan siya kapag matransfer pang minus na siya sa 9. Next, dito tayo sa loob ng parenthesis na i-multiply natin dyan. So, that is 4n squared. Negative 5 times 4 and this is negative 20. Tapos, kopyahin si minus 7 over 3. 9 minus 6, and that is 3. Next, since itong si 3, pang divide dyan, kapag matransfer, pang multiply na siya dito sa 3. Then, ipagsama natin itong mga like terms. Negative 20 minus 7. In other words, may utang ka ng 20, uutang ka pa ng 7. So, therefore, that is negative 27. So, we have 4 and squared minus 27 equals 3 times 3 and this is 9. Ito negative 27 or minus 27 kapag matransfer since negative yan siya or pang minus, pang add na siya dito sa ating 9. So, ang natitira na lang natin ay itong 4 n squared equals 9 plus 27 and this is 36. Next, since itong si 4 pang multiply sa n squared, pang divide na ngayon siya dito sa 36. In other words, nag-divide tayo ng 4 to both sides para makancel yan siya. Ang natitira na lang natin ay n squared. 
36 divided by 4, and this is equal to 9. So, ang natitira na lang natin dito ay n squared. Next, yung value ni n lang ang hinahanap natin. So, ang gagawin natin ay i-square root natin to Pero, i-square root natin both sides. So, makancel yung, uh, yung exponent na 2. So, this is n na lang. Now, n equals square root of 9 equals 3. So, ang sagot dito ay 3. Now, dun tayo sa solution number Three. Yung pangatlong solution na sinasabi ko, since nandyan given naman yung mga choices, so isa-isahin natin yan siya. So, kung dito tayo sa 6, okay, ang 6 is square natin yan, this is 36. Then, minus 5, this is 31. Multiply by 4, so itong 31 i-multiply natin ng 4, so this is 124 takes away 7 minus 7 so this is 117 then divides it by 3 so i divide natin ito ng 3 wait isa isahin natin yan i divide natin ng 3 so this is 3 9 uh, 2 27 so this is 39. So, ito ay 39. And finally, add 6. So, 39 plus 6. And this one is 45. The answer is 9. Ang sagot dito ay hindi yan siya 9. So, hindi yung letter A. Next, doon tayo sa letter B. 3. Squares it. So, 3 squared equals 9. Then take away 5, minus 5, and this is 4. Multiplies it by 4, so 4 times 4 equals 16. Takes away 7, so minus 7, and this one equals 9. Divides it by 3, so 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Finally, add 6 plus 6 equals 9. His answer is 9. So since 9 yan siya, Tama yung sagot na 3. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.